K Black Boxing coming to you with another video. You see these two guys right here on your screen. These two warriors. These two alpha males. These two individuals who are undefeated. Who are putting everything on the line once they face one another on August 19th to become undisputed. You see the look in their eyes, man. This is true champion right here. Both of these guys are true champions, man. You know, they, they truly are, man. The eyes look. Terrence Crawford, man, um, he's looking. He got that. He look, he's, just, he's just looking, man. He's like, you know what? This is another day in the park for me, man. I got the opportunity to become undisputed and cement my legacy and become the number one pound for pound fighter in this world, you know? Uh, Julius Ndongo, he got the eye of the tiger as well, man. He his eye, his mindset is looking like you know this is my opportunity. I've I've went to two different people backgrounds and backyards and countries already to capture titles, and I'm coming here not to lay down, but I'm coming here to do it again, so I can become undisputed, so I can do this for my country of Africa. You know what I mean? You, these two guys right here are the current de la crown of boxing right here. You know, and, and this is totally honest. You know, normally. When I do videos, it's black screen, you know, but in this particular video, I had to put both of these guys up, man, because this right here, I, I love this photo, man. You know, this photo right here is going to be placed in uh, history books, man, and you can also tell that Ndongo really is a true 5'10 fighter. He's taller than uh, Bud Crawford, man. Bud Crawford is like 5'8". You know, Ndongo might be a little bit taller than 5'10", but who knows, man, but... Both these guys, man, they are ready, man, and they are prime. You know, they, they, you know, you can tell they got the eye of the tiger, man. The, those eyes don't lie. You know, uh, and Dongo's eyes look like he's like he's more fierce because he like he already know it's the opportunity of lifetime. Crawford eyes is, you know, it it definitely has confidence as well as uh, being poised as well as I'm just ready to get this fight over with, man. This is another day in the park, and I'm just ready to do this, man. And you know these guys, um, they don't make they don't make boxes like these guys anymore. I'm willing to put everything on the line because I like I stated before, undisputed is on the line, as well as uh, their undefeated streak and the number one pound for pound supremacy. Man, you know the winner of this fight will leave out with the WBO belt, the IBO belt, the IBF belt, the WBA belt, and the WBC belt, man. As real as the uh, lineal championship in the ring magazine, you know. So it's everything. You got everything riding on this fight, man. One fight, and the individual become instantly become a superstar in the morning, you know, and the number one power for power fighter in my, in my eyes. I know they haven't been talking much about this fight, I know they mentioned a little bit on uh, the telecast when Lomachenko fought Mariaga. In my opinion, that was the best part of the whole fight when they mentioned Terrence Crawford and, and Julius Ndongo, you know? So, um, one more can I say, man? It's a phenomenal fight. Get your popcorn ready. August 19th will be here in no time. Today's the 7th, so you got 12 days, man. You know, 12 days before these two juggernauts, these two giants, these two mammoths, these two behemoths, you know, and I know these, I know they ain't heavyweights and nothing like that, but what I'm saying, I'm just talking about their mindset is that of a man that's, uh, that's really to conquer the world, man. I mean, like I said, you can look both of these guys, look, 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 just look at them, man. Look at, look at his stature. This is no fanfare. This is no fun. This is, look, this is like, you know, they, they, this is business. Ain't no shaking hands. Ain't no calling each other. Oh, it ain't that Adrian Broner shit. That's my friend. He's a good friend of mine. I'm going to call him. Ain't none of that bullshit, man. These guys are here about, uh, uh, you know, this is about business. And they want to uh, they wanna put everything on the line. You know, turn, uh, Julius and Dongo didn't come to 20, uh, my, I mean, 20 hours away just to lose. And Terrence Crawford, he ain't finna, he don't want to lose in his hometown. You know what I mean? So they, this, when you have two individuals that don't want to lose, that's undefeated, and you know, got everything to gain, and the loser, basically the winner take all, and the loser, you know, hey, maybe they'll be heard of again. I mean, this is this how true, this how true and strong this fight is. So you can't take a fight of this magnitude uh, lightly, man. 
You got to be thankful of today's boxing because nobody's fighting for Undisputed. Every time somebody even mentioned Undisputed, everybody go the other way. These are the only two guys right here that's putting everything on the line, man, because Terrence Crawford had to go this way. He could have beat Felix Diaz, moved up and away, and wait for a chance to fight either the, the uh, Manny Pacquiao or since Jeff Horn beat Manny Pacquiao, fight the winner of that fight. Julius and Dion could have fought for the IBF strap and then basically fought the likes of Lippinus and all those other guys that won uh, in, uh, his division the IBF. He could have just stayed where he was at and fought nothing but young pen fighters, but nah. He, not only that, he wants to unify with Barnes and he wants to fight Crawford. And Crawford wanted to fight uh, Indongo as well because as he beat Felix Diaz, he said he wanted to fight, you know, he, even though he called up Pacquiao Keith Thurman, but he said, if you can't get those guys, he know Indongo was in the, uh, in the attendance and he, he, he'll fight him. See, that's the heart of a true warrior. You know, he 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 didn't pull that Joshua bullshit, even though, you know, Deontay Wilder was in the tennis, uh, even, you know, and on, a telecast, on a telecast, he's actually doing uh, commentating. And they didn't even mention Wilder's name. You know, Joshua didn't mention Wilder's name, but being a true champion that Crawford is, he, he mentioned the brother uh, uh, in Dongo's name. Because you, when you fly 20 hours to come see a guy fight, dude, he really want to fight this guy. And look at that, look at them, look at them, look at their stature, look at their build, just look at the eyes, man. You can tell neither one of these guys ain't about no damn games whatsoever, man. The real 140 pound fight, none of that bullshit before that we seen a couple weeks ago. We talking about a real fight amongst men that don't want to lose. Like I said, these are two juggernauts, you know, two warriors. You got the African warrior versus the American warrior, man. And I guarantee everything's gonna be lit. In the ring, man. Julius, Blue Machine, and Dongo, Terrence Bud Crawford. Man, what a wonderful fight, man. Two undefeated fighters. Somebody old got to go. Somebody, um, Belt's got to go. Mm hmm. Man, someone's going to leave out the new pound for pound king. Man, this is K Black Boss, and I'm signing off. Like, comment, subscribe, man. By the way, Make this fight the most viewed fight of 2017, man. We got to do everything in our power to make this fight the most viewed fight of 2017. Man, this is K Black Boxing. I'm signing off. Like, comment, subscribe.